Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video we are going to be talking about The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, Episode 1, titled Years, and I just wanted to give you guys my predictions for the episode, like, realistically, what we can expect from this episode, you know what I mean? Just my honest thoughts on what I think is going to happen, so I think what's really important right off the bat is to establish why Rick Grimes never made it back home to Alexandria. I think that's really important, because I think so many people have been wondering, well, we all know Rick. We know how much he loves Judith and how much he loves Michonne and how much he loves Daryl and everybody back at Alexandria. You know what I mean? He he should have tried to make it back there, right? He should have made it back there. And I think it's really important to just establish that right off the bat. Why did he not make it back home, right? And the CRM is just too advanced. They're too secure to let somebody run away and not get caught, right? And I think that's what we need to see in the first episode is like no matter how hard Rick tries he can't escape. He just can't. I think that's what we need. We need to have that reinforced in our minds, right? That Rick Grimes is just, they have a lock on him and he cannot break free, right? Like he is a prisoner. He's not going anywhere. No matter how hard he tried, he is screwed. He is just stuck, right? And I think that's what they're going to do. I think, you know, he's going to cut off his hand and try to escape and, and all this craziness. And he's just going to end up right back there in his room at the CRM. And I think it's going to be one of those things where it's like you either accept this and adapt and adjust or your life is just going to suck, right? I think that's kind of what they are going to show us in the first episode. I hope it's mostly Rick. I, I kind of predicted that it would be mostly Michonne, but... I believe it's actually going to be mostly a Rick episode now. I hope it's mostly a Rick episode. I, I want to see more about the CRM and how advanced they are and just their technology and everything, their gear, their their weapons, their armor. I want to see more about General Bill. And, um, yeah, I do think Rick is going to lose his hand in the first episode um, or the second, but I'm leaning towards the first. And, uh, yeah. I think it's going to probably pick up right where 1124 ended with Rick, raising his hands up to the helicopter. Um, it would be interesting to see him initially arriving at the CRM with the short hair and uh, how that whole thing went with him in the operating room, probably, you know, having some sort of surgery done or something like that to repair his wound where he fell on the, uh, the rebarb spike or whatever. I think that would be really interesting, but we're probably not going to get that. We might get him waking up. Maybe? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But ultimately, I think it's most likely just going to pick up where 1124 ended with him raising his hands and being, you know, captured again and taken back to the CRM. But like I said, I think they just need to establish why he never made it back. And also, I think it's important to just really establish that connection with those other characters like Pearl Thorn and uh, the other guy. I forgot his name, but he seems pretty important. They need to establish that with Rick and... Uh, just who they are and what they mean to the series. And I hope they seem important, right? The Walking Dead has struggled with that in recent years, in my opinion. They bring in these characters that just don't seem important enough, right? And uh, Dead City really struggled with that. Those characters in Dead City, those side characters, were really bad. I really didn't care about any of them or like any of them. It was really just Negan, Maggie, Negan and Maggie and the little girl, uh, Jenny, I think. Those are the only characters that were like important in that show. And that's fine, I guess, but, you know, Pearl Thorne seems like a very interesting character. She really, really does. And uh, so does General Bill. This seems much, this seems like it's on a much larger scale than Dead City. And that's what I really like about this spinoff. It seems like it's going to be a very big deal. It doesn't seem like Dead City. You know, it seems like it's a, like a movie almost, right? Like this seems like such a huge deal. So, um, yeah, I think it's just going to be a very good episode and they're going to establish that connection with those characters Show us why Rick never made it home. I think they're going to really emphasize that he tried to make it home, right? With him cutting off his hand, trying to escape, and uh, all that other stuff. But he just always gets captured. He always has to go back, right? And another thing, real quick, I just want to talk to you guys about that I'm thinking about is what if Rick just accepts his life in the CRM and stops trying to escape and stops even thinking about Michonne and Judith like that and just kind of wants to move on with his life? Like, that's not Rick's character, but... What if he just feels so stuck where it's just like he has to do this, right? Like he just has to accept this life. I think that would be very interesting. Like what if Michonne finds him but he didn't really want to be found, right? Wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, I feel like that would be kind of bad. Like I feel like that would be bad, be bad writing. But I don't really know. I don't really see that happening. But it's just a thought. I was just thinking about that. Like what if they promote all this like Rick and Michonne stuff and then 
Michonne finds Rick and then Rick doesn't even want to leave. I don't really see that happening now that I'm thinking about it. I'm just sharing my thoughts with you guys. I'm just trying to think about plot twists that they could add, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think Rick's going to end up escaping with Michonne. And uh, it should be really fun. It should be really exciting. But yeah, I think the first episode is going to be a great one. They're just going to establish those things right off the bat. And I think it's going to be an absolutely incredible episode. So let me know your predictions down below and what you guys are expecting from the first episode. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Walking Dead content like this. It means the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there in the crazy world. Peace out.